So let's look at some of the things that can manifest in this kind of interaction. Okay, so I'm the scary monster, and already, ah, uh, it's all right, better. Now, the first thing that happened was he started to deflect the connection. Now, I believe that a connection, an attack, is really a request for love. It's a request for attention. It's a request for divine attention. So if you deflect that, I'll show you what, I'm, what you're feeling. Give me spirit energy to my center. And I do know I don't want to give you that. You feel that as somebody pushing you away, right? Likewise, if I withdraw, I don't have any of that for you. He wants to keep coming at it, right? But if I know that what you're looking for, I have an unlimited supply of, I can give it freely in the way that you feel comfortable having it, right? So I'm going to be the scary monster now, but what I'm really looking for is cookies. Oh, okay. cookies. Yeah, love. Okay, but see how you, see if I just release a little bit, we see where your intention is sending your energy. It's out there, not to me. So the first thing you want to do is make it direct to me. Ah, now if I let go, it comes right to me, right? Okay, so there's your spear, that's a nice spear. Now, off comes the mask. Now feel how stiff all that is and how it's going up here? That's what I meant, you can't use your physicality to create the illusion of caring. Your physicality <coughs> has to come out of caring. Now that's a nice flow out to me and it's kind of big and broad and I'd say you're on the right track, Thanks. right? But it feels, what you want to work on is the refinement of that instead of it being this kind of a broadening flow of energy, which makes you feel kind of pushed over to this kind of broadening of energy, which makes you feel like it's okay to go with it. Yeah? So the quality of mercy is not strain, right? So like you oh, but look, <laughs> look, you're faking me out. Is that so? Yeah. yeah. Feel this. You tell me if you feel like Oh, I feel like I could take care of you. <laughs> yeah? You feel how tense it is? Okay. So really want to take care of me. Don't worry about how that feels. <coughs> but it's pushing out that way, see? Okay. That's better. That's better. Okay? And it's a little softer, right? So we keep working on that. We keep working on that. Part of it, it may look like I just withdrew my energy, but a withdrawal looks like this. You can feel it, right? Now, I can allow the space of this energy flow to expand by moving to a different place, right? Yeah? But it doesn't feel like. But by by expanding, you mean moving your body apart? No, I mean the energy expands. My body follows that. It's hard to do. Okay. So um, you had asked a question about intention. Where's the energy coming from? I believe that the energy comes from the heart. Okay. This is the central core. It's your center of gravity. We are connected to the center of the earth with this. When we move, we have to move this. If I just move my foot, I don't go anywhere. I have to move this. And watch what I, if I intend to go in there, I don't have to point that way. I just have to intend and my body goes this way and then my feet catch up, right? My center is what moves. Now, you know why people trip? Trip, oh, ball. They're out of balance. Well, they're only out of balance because their intention to go somewhere, their feet can't go. My feet hit something. My intention to go takes me where my feet can't catch up. That's why we fall, because the intention is generated from here. This is what moves. Okay. And our feet follow suit. Okay. And okay. Now, now. And how about the expansion? Okay. Now, when I want to point at something, I don't have to raise my hand and send cantilevers out and figure out how to crane my arm up. I just intend, and there it goes. Okay. Now, a withdrawal of energy. If you can imagine, here comes this attacker. All my energy goes back into my center. No, you can't have any. I'm burying what you want deep within me. And feel how you want to keep coming? You want to follow it. 
yeah. because it's like a suction. Okay? It acts like fluids, fluid dynamics. Okay? If I shield against it, no, you can't get in there. Feel how it's made a barrier here? Yeah. It's filled my musculature with stiffness to keep you back. The intention, the energy has. All I have to do is intend to, by thinking, I don't want you to come any closer. And my arm does that. The energetic flow into my arm becomes a shield. If I think, you've got to get away from me, okay? I'm not moving. I'm moving. Why? Because the energy from my center is coming out and going right into yours. That's moving you. You know, it's not my arm that's moving you, right? It's the energetic flow through your system, right? It's not, you're not moving because of this. Mm -hmm. You're moving because all this energy that's coming out of there is trapping right into your central core. Yeah? So, but it's focused. It's a focused beam, right? So you give me a focused beam. Ah, there it is, okay? Now watch what happens when a focused beam it's a ball. We have like a Tibetan tr prayer wheel happening. It's rotating. It's rotating. And I just come to a safe place where I can take care of you. Okay, the ball. Yeah. <laughs> it's expanding like a bubble. I used to fly a hang glider. And a hang glider, we look for thermals. Right? The thermal acts like a bubble of air coming up. It is really, it heats up and then it breaks free and it comes up like a bubble of air, but it's expanding as it goes. That's why when you feel a hang, when you're in a hang glider and you feel something start to tip you, you have to steer into it, because otherwise it'll just tip you out. Mm -hmm. You fall out of it. The thermal goes up and you go that way out of the thermal. So you steer into the thermal so that you stay on top of the bubble, okay? Well, this is a bubble moving sideways. It's not moving up, but it's moving sideways. Okay? And it won't push you open. This, this thing won't stop when it hits my hang glider. It'll go around it. Okay? Now, for this to look like Aikido, you have to keep spear energy up. If it turns into a shield, it won't look the same. It'll look like you're defending yourself against the Aikido. But if it flows into a ball, see, we both turn together. See how that works? Mm -hmm. Okay? You feel it, right? Yeah. So as this expands, see how we're turning now? I'm not pushing your hand out where it would feel like this. That feels different, right? Be strong. Keep it right here. See, I can't push your hand out, but when it expands, well, well now you're locking down. You have to keep the flow going. Otherwise, it turns into just, oh, I'm going, bye. Right? There's no tap. It's just you're locking down. So. Loosen everything up so you can get a flow going. Right? There you go. And then feel how that happens. Okay, so this brings us to our next exercise. Grab, please. And want to know where some place is. Like, for instance, you could pick the locker room. Okay, where's the locker room? Okay, now you're going to represent that question with some desperate need. <laughs> You understand? I've got to get to the restroom. I've got to get to the locker room. I've got to go. I've got to get to the restroom. Where's the locker room? Please help me out here. Yes, it's the locker there. room. <laughs> I don't understand you. I don't speak Dutch. I mean, I mean, the locker room is over there. I need to get to the restroom. It's over there. It's over there. What are you talking about? I don't understand your language. Okay, see how you're. Here, this is the way it feels. Okay. So I asked for the restroom. <laughs> I may be saying, come follow me. I may be saying, get your hands off me. You don't know, right? Follow me? You don't, you're not going to let me go, are you? Okay, you still want to know? Where's the locker room? See, he's going with me now. Because I've joined with him. Okay? Our brain is going to say, figure out the answer to the question. 
It's, it's never in my head. Then we did, we're going together now. You see, because I've joined you, I've opened myself up past the fear point where I'm trying to keep the shield up or get you to move with a spear. And I understand that we're in this together. Come on, I'll, I'll take care of you. Does the ball come in? Well, the ball is in there. Yeah, the ball is why you're moving. Because you may not feel it, but right here, this is the ball that connects us. Mm -hmm. You feel it? That's the ball of the key. Okay? Give it a try. So you're going to grab your partner, and you're going to say, where's the basketball hoop? You know? <clears throat> Don't let your partner get away with anything. So if they start going, well, look behind you. It's right there behind you. Or if they try to sneakily lead you to turn, don't trust them. They might be leading you off a cliff. <laughs> OK? Get them to connect with you, to be part of your situation. Give it a try. OK? Change partners. <laughs> 